In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the correct way to form an opening in a two-way sloped slab. So in this project here, I've got a floor slab. Um, if I just switch to 3D view, there is our floor with our opening in it. Just go back to a plan view. Now, I've created the opening by adding a closed loop to the footprint of the floor. So if I select the floor, edit boundary so we go back to the footprint in sketch mode you can see there the inner closed loop I added which has the effect of forming the opening so let's go ahead and remake the floor hit the green tick so at the moment the floor is perfectly horizontal we want the floor to slope in two directions so with the floor still selected I look on the ribbon and I have the option to modify the sub elements. So I'm going to leave that corner at zero. So if I just click on it, just to confirm that's zero. This corner I'm going to lift to 100. This corner I'm going to lift to 200 and this corner I'm going to lift to 300 and you can see Revit's had to triangulate the surface of the geometry in order to make this work so I can now just deselect the floor go into 3D and there is our two-way sloped floor now the problem we've got with this as you might be able to see is in sloping the overall floor plate in two directions it hasn't adjusted the height of the opening i'm suggesting that, that typically you would want this floor to be a uniform slope so these heights of these four points on the opening would adjust accordingly well as you can see that isn't going to happen automatically with revit so let's just go back to the floor plan just to confirm the heights we've got and to, to see the problem, if I go to annotate and add spot elevation, I'm just going to change the scale, to make those a little bit easier to see. So spot elevation, that corner was zero, the one we started, we left that alone, 100, 200, 300, and you can see the problem we've got here is it hasn't automatically adjusted the height of these so that the general slope across the floor means that this is where you'd expect it to be uh, in elevation terms. So what we need to do if we want the floor to have a nice uniform slope and this opening to be at the height it needs to be uh, what you don't want to do is have to use um, trigonometry or manually sort of calculate it yourself to work out the height of these points and then type them in. There's a much easier way to do it. So uh, what I'm going to do is, let's say you've, you've started this method and now you want to sort of do it correctly. So you've already set out where this opening needs to be. Um, I'm just going to use reference planes to actually mark on where that opening is so we can trace over it what I'm going to do now is just get, get rid of those spot elevations I'm going to edit the footprint so select the floor edit boundary I'm going to take away that inner loop hit the green tick to remake the floor So now we've got our two-way slope slab with no opening in it. All our corners are at the heights we set, so we're happy with that. Now we can go and add the opening to it separately by going to Architecture and the Opening Panel, and it's a vertical opening we need. So click on that. Select the object that we want to make the vertical opening in. So select the floor plate, and now sketch the opening can just use the rectangle tool this is why we put the reference planes in so we've got a template of where our opening needs to be based on the original sketch 
we've got the four lines in to denote where the opening is hit the green tick to make it and now if we go back to annotate spot elevation there we have the four corners all at the right heights we'll just take a final look at that in a 3d view i hope you enjoyed this revit architecture video if so please hit the like button if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released please subscribe to this channel and to see the full range of my Autodesk Revit architecture training material, including video courses and PDF ebooks, please visit the website at www.bimscape.com. You can also connect with Bimscape on the social media platforms listed here.